Hello ladies and gentlemen, Waylaters here. Today we are playing Fallout 3, Game of the Year edition. So we have uh, actually already been to our nursery, we got out of the pen and then we discovered we're special. I forget what we do now. Go go ga ga! You are quite the little explorer, aren't you? I'm going this way, goodbye. That was me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. Go ga ga! It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Go, go, ga. Revelation 21.6. Go, go, ga. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life. I want one of these. Give me that. always loved that. Go, 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 go. Right, give me on. that. Let's go see if your little friend Amato wants to play. Man, forget Amato. Follow dad. Hello, dad. These experiments are a night. The experiment to prepare. We prepare to survive. Philip said, Miss Harris. Surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy birthday. It's my birthday? You like it one of those things now? Hey, you look older. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your Congratulations, mother... young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Yes, you Down do. Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. I don't wanna. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby Ooh. present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. That's Get pretty. You will be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. You're actually ten the end of sixty-five days. Oh man! So, a year. Happy birthday! How's my wife? We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> your dad was afraid you were on to us, but I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You didn't fool me. I just pretended not to know. <laughs> Should we be the jerk or the liar? You're such a liar. Okay, if you're so smart, what did I get you for your birthday? Gross! I didn't think you even liked girls. <laughs> and you know what I mean, before you say something rude about me. I guess maybe I should give this to someone else. Someone who likes Grognak the Barbarian better than me and Christine. The question is, how could you tell the difference? <laughs> Pip boy, I wish I was ten. No, you don't. Paul you Hannon. Yourself? Having a good time? It no. wasn't easy keeping this a secret. He, now go on. He, he sure didn't do a good job. Who's this guy? Stanley! How do you like that, Pip-Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? Get it off? Why in the world would you want to do that? Your <laughs> Pip-Boy's the best friend you'll ever have. That's sad. Besides, you can't get it off. Biometric seals, etc. I could tell you some stories about trying to take them off the old folks. Ah, well, that's hardly a fit subject for a kid's birthday party. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Pretty soon you'll wonder how you ever got along without it. Sure, most people don't give a thought to their pip boy as long as it keeps working. Well, anyway, I got this for your birthday. It isn't much, and you probably already have one. But there you go. Happy birthday. One of the 3,000 A models? Nice. What piece of How do we make pip boy? Whoa. Are you looking at dork face? Okay, so it's not Q. Shift, space bar. This click, that click. Nope. Oh well. Oh, nobody told me how to use it. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Uh, well, now. <laughs> Young people were more polite back in my day. Respected their elders. Of course, we had a real overseer back then. Worthy of respect. 
not like that one over there with his rules and his secrets. Why, I have half a mind to just up and tell you. Oh my, there I go again with my old lady talk, and you still waiting patiently for your present. I suppose you could have asked more politely, but it is still your birthday. So here you go, a nice sweet roll I baked just for you. Daddy, I I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. I was scroll down and hit this. Yes, I do. <laughs> but you know what that sounds like, don't you? <laughs> don't you talk about my mom, you little punk? Well, do not to be sorry, official. I know you were joking, but Tab. not. Okay, items. I have no weapons. I have this baseball hat. I'm going to wear it. Now I am Donald Trump. What is this? Melee weapons. Cool. Ah, uh, what are you doing? Hold still, punk. People always enjoy my Butch, what do you think you're doing? Leave what him are you alone. At, dork face? You alright, son? You What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. Right, that's exactly what I was thinking. Didn't hurt you, did it? <laughs> I think I should do that now. Eh, it'll be fun to do it that way. Maybe I'll be mean to everyone the whole game. What do you think we should call our game? Hey, how about the bolt rollers? I wasn't worried. Who wants to go around all day being called anyway? I'm glad to be here. I think you really are as dumb as you. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Your arm is strong enough to whip that Come on, sister, anyway. You always have good ideas. Okay. How are you enjoying the party, yeah. Mrs. Palmer? I got one. I helped the Macarys. Okay. Is cool, right? Oh, Jeez, really? Holy... Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness. I hope I didn't miss the party. All right, should I be nice? Yeah, I'll be nice. They sure did. My, my. Ten years old Maybe already? Maybe he'll fight me by That'd Why, be fun. I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now Ew. look at you. A great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special <laughs> occasion, frankly. do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem. Oh my just goodness, for you. Lame. I hope you like it. Of course. Head of the game, you me. No you way. Such a Are you having job. a nice time? I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. <laughs> Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. That's some hot fire. Spin it right out. Woo! Alright, we're going this way. Because if you look at the signs, it says reactor. And I'm supposed to meet Jonas. Jonas better not be a whale. What are there you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. Hey, relax. I was just teasing. Listen. Now that you're ten, you don't have to take guff like that from grown-ups anymore. Got it? <laughs> Hold on one more minute. I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Is it a pony? I want a pony. Where's my pony, you evil man? Your dad is waiting to give you your present. I want it. Or Where's the pony? Are you your surprise? Is it a pony? The overseer gave you your pit boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so... I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old. Why it is should it a work pony? perfectly. I Jonas found a pony. it down here. 
Oh. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch must place that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Easy now. It's only a BB gun, but it's not a toy. Let's go try it out. Jonas and I have found a nice spot for you. Whoever pony. has a pony, I'm shooting them and taking it. I want the pony. Haha! <laughs> Oh man, I'm really bad at jumping, aren't I? Okay. Aha! Pume. Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Got him. How do I look down the sights? Is this it? Is that like all I can do? Good work. That's one less round roads to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. I want to do it, but at the same time, it's not a good idea. Hello. Smile. Oh, I blinked. Different parts. Like I get any kind of special Tell me. Revelation 21 6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. Hi, Dad. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16 year old boy. So, yes, you have to go to class to take your goat exam. Go on now. You've got a goat to take. I want a pony, not a goat. The generalized occupational aptitude test. Goat. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the overseer says? We are born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? Hmm. Take care, See you, son. man. I got out of here. And good luck. Good morning. Where am I going? Stopping to see the old man before class, eh? Out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes! I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amada. God, Butch! Why don't you just stupid tunnel snakes? Immature assholes, if you ask me. Why won't they leave me alone? It's not my fault my father's the overseer. I don't care about their stupid gang. Can you talk to them? Maybe Butch will listen to you. Please? Thanks. You've always been a good friend. Try talking to Butch. They'll all do whatever he says. Yeah? yeah? What do you want? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? And who are you? Her boyfriend? Ha! Keep talking like that, boy. And we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, tunnel snakes. This twerp needs another lesson. Butch, stop! Leave him alone! Please, stop fighting! Hit him again! Please, stop fighting! Again. Please, stop fighting. You're kidding me. Didn't you just Please, get stop fighting! Week? Had enough yet? Sure did. Please stop fighting! Give him another one. Come on, tunnel snakes. Snake like bitches are worth it. Yeah, woo! Whatever you say, Thanks. beat him up. Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess? 
idiots. You're the boss. Back off. Tunnel Back snakes off. rule. Fine, sure let's thing. go. How about we head down Tunnel to the diner girl. after class? Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. I'm sure you will. No, you're not supposed to sit in the back. Or how am I supposed to cheat off of you? I can't. I can't, I can't cheat off of Paul. Paul's an idiot. Well. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brunch. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? <laughs> Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? <laughs> That's tempting. Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Ooh. Which position do you prefer? I'm not gonna lie, I suck at baseball. Your grandmother invites you to tea. But you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another Vault resident. What do you do? <sighs> Question six. <laughs> Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? <laughs> Question seven. Oh no. You've been exposed to radiation, <laughs> and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Question 8. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number 1. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Guns solve everything. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... <laughs> Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland, and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants.
Thank yep. God that's over. Come on, let's go get some lunch. Back off. Here you are, Mr. Brach. I hope I did okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almodovar. Let's see. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. All finished? Yes. Hey there. Yo, teach! I'm done! Ah, butch. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time? Man, you walk slow. Ah! How can anyone walk that slow? Oh my goodness. Ah. Thank God that's over. Come on, let's go get some lunch. What is it now, sir? It's very difficult to get lunch if you just, like, you know, give up. What are you doing? You're just... What? How is this helping? How are you going to find lunch doing this? Come on! Eh. Whatever. I'm leaving. Peace. Oh, gee. That's... Huh. Oh, right. I gotta give him my test. will be brave enough to be your first customer as the vault's new tattoo artist. I promise it won't be me. Closer to reality than you might think. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously, and look where I ended up. Just between you and me. The whole test is a joke. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Ooh. Just let me know. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. No, I don't like medicine. Eh, speech might not be bad. Small guns. I want big guns. Yeah! What else? Ah. Uh, I suppose this could be helpful. Okay. Good. Oops. How did I do that? Exit. Oh my. But now I can't even get lunch. How sad. Selfish and insubordinate. Wake up! You Come on, wake up! What am I gonna do with that lunch? Oh no! Come on! You've got to wake up! Oh well, actually, I'll turn it uh, next time. Goodbye.